I keep in a line is Better stay in line with You see it like me What's good YouTube, it's your boy Big Lou and I'm back at it again with another video. Today guys, I have a short and simple video for you guys. So basically, I'm going to teach you guys or show you guys the steps that I use for my waves. Basically, um, I haven't been taking my wave series, but now I'm trying to get back on track. This is probably a three, if I'm not mistaken, three or two. No, it's, it's a three, three. I haven't been brushing like I usually do. you guys the basic step that I use to get waves 360 waves and I think this works on all hair types on all hair archetypes feel me it's okay talk so I hope that you guys enjoy this video I hope that it helps out and um yeah let's get right into it I start off with a handful of water arctic water <laughs> just wet, you just wet your hair some people might might find this method a little um, stupid or retarded, but it's not, trust me. It's not retarded. So you wet your hair, not too much though, but me, yeah, I exaggerated, I don't know what. Your hair is like a plant, man. You have to water it, you have to wet it so it could, you know. So you, you gotta feed it. You gotta feed it, man. You gotta feed your hair, man. You take a brush. I take the hard side. It goes soft and hard. I take the hard side, I just brush it down. So my arm is killing me right now because I don't have a camera man, but I got myself, I got my back. So yeah, you brush each side. Ah, oh, damn, my arms hurt, but I have another brush. <laughs> I know you guys might think this is extra, but yo, you gotta do what other people are not doing, but you gotta, you gotta follow the process, man. If you want the 360 waves, man, you gotta do this. It's not that hard, but it's like harder than the soft side. Then you just brush it down. Bro. You see it better now? Cause when you brush it with the hard side, like it helps, but it, it also bring it makes your hair a little puffy. So you use this to bring it down. This is the third step, basically. Um, oil. This is like <laughs> this is Haitian oil. I'm a zo. I don't use too much because this, the, the the aroma, the scent of the um, oil is very strong. Even if you're gonna wash your hair the next day, you gotta watch out. And if you don't have, if you're not Haitian, if you're not a Zoe, you don't have this um, oil, you could always use um, baby oil. So yeah, this is what I used for my beard as well to grow my beard. Basically, I would just pass it on my face before I go to sleep, or before I go to bed. I take the oil and I just pass it on my hair. Rub it in my hair to make it look smooth and gliss. And then you shake your hands. You take the brush. If you don't want that little hole in between your hair, you gotta follow the patterns. So now for the last step, just get the do rag, put it over your head, when you don't, when you tie your do rag, like, you gotta tie it low. So when you tie it, it won't like ruin the back. You see how like when you be having the waves, it you always have this line like the bottom doesn't have waist. The your waist is talking like right here. If you don't want that to happen, you have to tie it low. The lowest point. You pull it down. If you want to wake up the next morning, don't tie it too hard, man. That's it, man. You just tie that bitch up, man. Yeah, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. This is how I do it. This is my way. Now, there's a lot of way you can do this, but this is my way. That's it for this video, guys. I hope you guys liked it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'll be doing a lot on the channel. Me, 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 me